next on New Day, more of American Idol Season 7 runner-up, David Archuleta. We'll still have David live in the studio. And we're back, and it's a good thing American singer-songwriter David Archuleta is back in the country for a holiday benefit concert. David, of course, is still with us live in the studio. Hey, David, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we asked you earlier why you love the Philippines. Why do you think the Philippines loves you? Um, I don't How know. Can they not? <laughs> How can they not? I was just looking at the footage of you arriving at the airport and still so many yes. fans, you know? Oh, uh, I, I feel very grateful. I feel blessed for the support of the fans here. And I was, I was talking to my guitarist, David M., actually, just saying, I was like, you know, I feel like... I like I, I act a lot like Filipinos. Like we ha have similar personalities, so I think that's why I blend. I get along so well when I come here. And I was also, I guess, a lot of people when I first came, a lot of interviews they asked me if I was Filipino because mm -hmm. a lot of people thought I was part Filipino. I'm like, no, I'm not. But I, I guess I act a lot like Filipinos. <laughs> I, so. Well, as long as you keep saying that famous line of yours, you'll <laughs> be okay. Wala naman. Wala naman. Wala naman. Wala and just look at that smile. I think that smile, the charisma, the charm yes. of David. Again, your benefit concert this Friday already. A concert for Mabuhay Deseret, 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 which is the largest surgical charity in the Philippines. Tell us again why you chose Mabuhay Deseret. Uh, well, like I said, um, they reached out. Um, mm -hmm. It was started by members of my church, Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, and Deseret is actually a, a term we use a lot. Uh, it's about work ethic and working together. So um, they, I love, I love helping people. They help a lot of kids, and I love you organizations love that help yes, kids. Yes, you do a lot of that. So um, I was like, I'm happy to do it, especially it's for the Filipinos who need it. So I, I love the Filipinos, so I'd be happy to come and do a benefit concert. Why is it important for you personally to do this kind of work, aside from being a star and a singer and a songwriter? Why is this, um, you know, a, an important facet of your life? Well, um, you know, music is, for me, is not the my number one thing. My number one thing is to connect with other people and bring them closer, to lift them up, bring them closer to God and um, help them have, be happy in this life. Music is a way to do that. Mm -hmm. Music is a way to connect people and lift them and have, help them have joy. So um, when I can help people, especially people who don't have that help, it's always a very soft spot for me. I was a missionary in Chile, yes. South America for two <laughs> years, and that really gave me a lot of perspective that this I want to keep helping people because it brings me the biggest joy. You know, it's it's great to have support and exciting with shows and stuff, but it's it's a different level of joy you experience when you're able to reach and help people. So your music could be the instrument that you use to reach, you know, a lot of people. And once they hear your song, they're like, I want to get to know this guy. And once they get to know you, oh, he's really a nice guy. You know, he was a missionary and doing all of these things when he could be, you know, hobnobbing with whoever in the world. Right? But they're both in love with you. I know. My girls are watching. <laughs> but anyway, you do have a concert coming up. So yeah. tell us about Friday's your holiday concert. concert. Friday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, Friday. It's a little. Uh, a little earlier at 6.30, and um, it'll be Christmas music. Yes. Oh. So, Majority? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's a Christmas concert, okay. so expect just some good Christmas music. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love, I love, I mean, I love how I come to the airport. Even last year when I came in October, the Christmas decorations were already <laughs> oh, yeah. in September, is <laughs> Oh, wow. First. Christmas every day here, yeah. It is Christmas every day in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. For the concert, for the holiday concert, David will be joined by very talented Filipino artists, right? You will have Anton Anteno Cruz, who was a semi finalist in season two of the show Tawag ng Tanghalan, Pinoy Boy Band, former X Factor UK contestants JBK, composed of Joshua Bulod, Brian Del Rosario, Kim Lawrence, Ordoño, they were on the show as well, and singer songwriter Mikey Misalucha. Um, well, like, why don't you invite everybody uh, to this morning? We're watching yes. us right now to go visit your concert and check, and uh, see all these artists with you. Yes. Well, please, everyone. <laughs> uh, hello, Mabuhay. <laughs> um, please come to the concert. It is for a good cause. So not only will you be enjoying some great Christmas music and great performers, you'll be helping a lot of um, people who, who need that help and need the operations. So it'll be a great time.
Please come. Thank you. There, there you go. And your birthday. Yes, it's birthday coming birthday. up December 28. Will you still be yeah. here in the Philippines by then? Oh, uh, I won't. I will, I'll be back uh, doing Christmas shows in the U.S. Why don't you extend and stay here? I know. I should. I should do more concerts yeah. here. I'll right. bring lechon. Roasted pig? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. For your birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, there's something about David that he yes. just never ages. And, and you brought that up earlier. Yes. It's like he yes. still looks the same way. The same as an AI. Was, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's been almost 11 years now. Mm -hmm. since. Wow. Yeah, it's been over 11 years since I auditioned. But I still, 10 years later, I'm 27, almost 28 now. And people still ask at the airport if I'm old enough to travel alone. <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be 15. And they're like, are, do you? No way. 15. You know, are you? I'm like, can I see your ID? I'm they like, card oh, you at the yeah. bar still. Well, I don't go to bars, but. <laughs> I, yeah, at the airport, yeah, all the time. What airport. is the one thing that you've learned in the past 10 years? I mean, you've had fame and, and fortune and all of these things and adventures left and right. What's the one thing that stands out in your 10 years? Um, for me, I think just that I can, I can make a difference. I, I wasn't, I didn't think I was anyone special. I was very quiet, <laughs> antisocial in school. And so to think that even little me, could, by doing small things, I can make a difference, that, that was a huge lesson for me. And that singing a song, who, I didn't know that just singing a song, sharing how I feel in a song could make a difference and connect and help people. It's, it's just awesome. I love, and now I love look, that you're a that. singer, songwriter. I mean, you're the whole package. Yeah. <laughs> and you inspire everybody and you're a genuine good person. Uh, Thank you thank again you. for being here on the show. Just thank keep you. on coming back to oh, CNN in the Philippines. I, and we'll I, see I, you I, again. I, we'll try to catch your concert. We'll be, try to be there on Friday. Again, Benefit Concert, yeah. David Archuleta. But before we let him go, he will serenade <laughs> us again with his hit song, Crush, one of my favorite Crush. songs, oh, with you. David M. Take it away, David and David. <laughs> Something happened for the first time deep inside Was a rush, what a rush Cause the possibility That you would ever feel the same way about me Is just too much, just too much Why do I keep running from the truth? All I ever think about is you It got me so mesmerized and I just got to know do you ever think when you're all alone all that we could be where this thing could go am I crazy or falling in love is it really just another crush do you catch a breath when I look at you are you holding back like the way you do cause I'm trying trying to walk away but I know to mine when we're hanging spending time girl are we just friends is there more is there more see it's a chance you gotta take because i believe we can make this into something that will last last forever for 